Today, I'll talk about pressure measurement by YouTube manometer. Here, one multi-fluid manometer is connected with two pipe. One pipe is pipe A, pipe A, and center pressure of this pipe, that is PA. And density of the fluid is rho 1. And another pipe is pipe B, and center pressure of the pipe is PV and the fluid density is again rho 1. Now we have to calculate what will be the pressure difference PA minus PV. So uh, we have to find out PA minus PV. How much? Now first uh, we know that pressure acting on the same continuous fluid at same reference line will be the same. So first here I am uh, calculating so here I am just for uh, I'm, I'm drawing the horizontal line this is one horizontal reference line so now what will be the pressure at point 1 P1 so P1 is nothing but PA plus H1 rho 1 G now the P1 is equal to that is pressure 2 so because the pressure acting on uh, on the same continuous fluid at same reference line will be the same so PA P1 is equal to P2. So now P1 we got PA plus H1 rho G. So P2 will be P1 plus H1 rho G. Now next I have to calculate P3. So P3 is so if we go upward direction pressure will be decrease. So P3 will be PA plus H1 rho 1 G minus H1 rho 2 G means P2 minus uh, H1 rho 2 G. So that is P3. Now for P6 we got that P3. So now P6 will be so P3 minus H2 rho 1 G then minus H3 again rho 1 G H4 again rho 1 G. So now whatever we have PA plus H1 rho 1 G uh, minus H2 H1 rho 2 G so that is here plus the height plus all this height so h2 plus h3 plus h4 so minus h2 plus h3 h4 rho 1 g so that is p6 this point the pressure now in the same pressure acting on the same continuous fluid at the same reference line so now that will be p7 means p6 is equal to p7 p6 is equal to p7 so now we know already p6 so that will be p7 now p8 P8 will be so P7 plus means it is going downward direction so P7 plus H4 so this is H4 H4 rho 3 G now what will be the pressure B pressure B will be P8 plus this height that is H3 rho 1 G so P8 we know that is P7 plus H4 rho 3 G so P7 plus H4 rho 3 G plus H3 rho 1 G and P7 we know that is P7 is equal to P6 so that is PA PA plus H1 rho 1 G minus H1 rho 2 G minus H2 plus H3 plus H4 rho 1 G so that is there and then uh, here that H4 plus rho 3 G and H3 rho 1 G. So now finally if we do the reorganization so now here first PV minus PA so PV minus PA is H1 rho 1 G minus H1 rho 2 G minus H2 plus H3 plus H4 rho 1 G plus H4 rho 3 G plus H3 rho 1 G. Now finally so if we reorganize that will be PV minus PA is that is H1 rho 1 G and here h1 rho 2 g and then minus h2 plus h4 rho 1 g plus h4 rho 3 g so if we reorganize we will get uh, <coughs> this formula so pv minus p1 so you can take this and then reorganize you will get this that's it thank you